today, we're going to be finding the letter of Y equals C to the X, and I have this marker conveniently placed in my hand without any outside interference. So, did you know? Let me tell you a very big secret of mine that I've been keeping away from the public and from my family for years. Secant of x is equal to 1 over cosine of x. So, that means that we are taking the derivative of 1 over cosine. Mm. Wait, but we've already taken the derivative of 1 over x. And we've taken the derivative of cosine of x. So this should be easy, right? Right. So, let's start from way over here. Because we're taking the limit is a to pull to zero off. You know that did it? We're taking the limit is a to pull to zero of secant, or rather one over cosine x plus x minus one over cosine x. Yes, I know. No more funny. No parentheses jokes like cos or cos x or over eight. So that's what we're taking the derivative of. So now, what is cosine of x plus eight? Well, did you know that cosine of x plus eight is more than one? Yes, I know that's very vague, but it gives you cosine of x times cosine of eight minus sine of x times sine of eight. No, no, no. So, we're going to be using that right over here, right over now. So, cosine x, cosine h, sine of x, sine of h. Man, that's a real mouthful, ain't it? But, what we're going to do is we're going to make a common denominator. So we're going to multiply this by cosine x over cosine x, and this by cosine x, to cosine, no, I'm not going to say that two times over. Cosine of x plus h over cosine of x plus h. So that gives us cosine of x. Yes, I know. You were excited for me to torture myself by saying cosine x, cosine h minus sine x, sine x. Wait, I just said. <laughs> so you get cosine x minus cosine squared, <clears throat> no, you get cosine x minus cosine of x, cosine of h, plus sine of x, sine of h, no, 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 over h times cosine x, cosine x plus h. Now, mamma mia, we're going to factor out cosine of x from what we can. So, we have cosine of x and then 1 minus cosine of h over h cosine x cosine x plus h. Well, at least it's not this mouthful multiplied by cosine x multiplied by h, right? Am I right? So, plus sine of x sine of h over the same thing, because I'm too lazy to say it again. <gasps> At this point, you would think I would be so lazy that I would just stay in bed. So, of course, this will actually go to zero rendering the entire thing is zero, and sine of h over h simply goes to one. So that means that we have, we don't need the limit anymore because we have sine of x over cosine of x times cosine of x plus zero, which is also cosine of x. No, no, no. So we get, f prime of x is equivalent to sine of x over cosine squared of x. Easy, right? <laughs>